Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the CE Smith tie-down bracket. So I will say these tie-down brackets are really convenient. Uh, many of our customers said they use them for a little bit of everything actually, and I can see why. Uh, once you kind of get it in your hands, you're able to tell that it's really versatile. You can bolt this thing just about any which way you want, uh, whether it be up and down, like ours is today, at an angle, or even flat. So let's say you have a, you know, maybe a flat bed, you know, utility type trailer, something like that, and you bolt this thing down, that angle's about perfect to where it's gonna allow you to still easily get your strap in there and secure everything down. So whether you're trying to uh, strap down a boat, a wave runner, maybe some four wheelers, uh, furniture, whatever the case may be, this is gonna give you a perfect anchoring point to make life a little bit easier when you're trying to strap everything down. So today, the ones that we have on our trailer, this is actually my own personal trailer, and I was looking for a solution just to make uh, things a little bit easier because the issue that I was having was trying to strap the back of my boat down and it was just kind of inconvenient. You know, I had to run it through this wiring here, and this is a C-channel type metal. And so I'd have to take the hook, kind of hook it back there, and grab the strap, try to keep it super tight, and run it over to the other side. And a lot of times, you know, you're trying to lift the strap up over the outboard motor, you get a little slack in it, and you know, this comes right off. Um, so it was just kind of a kind of a pain. I was kind of getting tired of it and just wanted something a little bit easier And that's when I came across these and decided to give them a shot. So I'm definitely going to keep them Just raises my anchor point up a little bit higher off the trailer so you can just put that right in and Just kind of the design of it keeps a good hold of our hook actually so It's not nearly as easy, you know, if you put some slack in this for this to actually come undone, you know, it almost just kind of stops. I mean, if you really got to shake it and work it to get that thing to come free. So uh, chances are pretty good. You know, once you put that in there, you can grab your strap, run it to where you need it to go. Uh, you don't have to worry about this side falling out and then coming over here, putting it back and then the other side's falling out and just causing you a headache. So it's just the little things in life that really do make it that much more enjoyable. And just out of curiosity, I personally wanted to try out a few different types of straps just to see how well they would actually hold here in our tie-down bracket. And the majority of them worked perfectly. Actually, all of them that I tried. I tried a few, a few different types. The hole here, just in case you're wondering, is going to be 7 eighths in diameter, so plenty big for the majority of straps. As you've seen before, this type holds just fine, whether you go from the front or the back. And I got a couple more real common types. Kind of this double hook almost here. So that one goes through, holds real well. Then whether the front or the back, however you prefer to hook it up. And then one of these larger type hooks here. So it gives us more than enough space to uh, get pretty much all of the common type hooks through there and uh, allow them to do their job and secure everything down. One thing quite a few of our customers did say is that they're really impressed with these little brackets actually. They've been using them for a while and they've really done a great job of holding up, not getting all rusted out and everything else. And that's partly due because this does uh, have a galvanized coating or it's galvanized steel rather and it is nice and thick too so i feel like you could really put some pressure on these things as long as you have them secured down properly and you're not going to have to worry about them bending or anything like that you can see that steel is nice and thick so it really take a lot of effort uh, to damage it and gives you that reliable attachment point that you're looking for now whenever you do go to secure this down uh, the hole here is going to accept hardware up to a half an inch so at the end of the day, a super convenient way to give you an anchor point that's easy to use. There are other types of anchors or tie downs rather available. Uh, one style is called the D-ring. 
Those work great. Um, I like those too. However, I feel like in the vertical position, these definitely have an advantage since they're fixed. Your uh, anchor point's gonna be right there. You're not gonna have to hold that D-ring up and worry about it you know, swinging back down. So I feel like those have their place. Uh, these definitely have an advantage, again, in this vertical position. And there's also larger ones similar to this available too. So kind of have a few different options there on uh, what you need to do. However, with that being said, I feel like this is kind of that great uh, general purpose, all around tie down bracket. I feel like it's gonna work for just about anything. Now, as far as getting the brackets actually installed, it's super simple. Uh, more or less, you're just gonna have one attachment point here to your frame or floor, wherever you're putting it, uh, preferably somewhere solid. In our case, where I usually run my strap is actually pretty much in line with this bolt hole here that holds on my taillight bracket. So I'm just gonna utilize that. If you don't have an existing hole, you're just gonna need to find where you wanna actually mount this, mark it where you want it, and drill out a hole. That way it gives you a spot to run your hardware through. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tools and remove the nut and bolt here. That way I can install the bracket. Go ahead and work everything out and just kind of let this hang for now. So what I went ahead and did is just kind of cleaned up the surface where our bracket's going to be sitting against and just kind of shot a layer of spray paint over there just to kind of give us a fresh coat. And then what I'm going to do is sandwich the uh, tie down in between the frame rail and our tail light bracket. Now I want to mention these uh, tie downs, they don't come with any hardware. So you will have to pick some up separately. Go ahead, take my bolt, my washer. Pass that through. Let's spin it how we want it. Then on the other side, I'm just gonna take a flat washer and a nylon lock nut. We'll get it started, come back down, snug it up a little bit, make sure we hold our uh, tie down there where we want it positioned and then we'll completely tighten it down. And if you picked up more than one of these, you'd simply repeat that same process to get the rest of them mounted up. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the CE Smith tie-down bracket.